but family and friends of 14-year-old Jasper Davis have been posting about him on social media, including Baltimore musician Easy Jackson. And Jackson says that Davis was one of the students at uh, Beats Not Bullets, learning sound engineering and other aspects of the recording industry. Now, in his post, Jackson says Davis had natural talent. Now, police are looking for Davis's killer. It's another sad situation that hit right next to home. Crime scene tape outside the Mandamin Metro Station, where the deadly shooting of a 14-year-old remains under investigation. Jasper Davis died at the hospital. On a GoFundMe page, his family says he had taken a bus to get to the mall. A 19-year-old man was also shot at the transit stop. A woman tells us she became a witness as she drove along Grangsterstown Road at Gwens Falls Parkway. Unfortunately, you know, those tragic things took place all around me. You know, I was right in the middle of it. I, I couldn't believe what was happening. I'm like, oh my God, this is, it was going to happen so fast. Baltimore City Police released these pictures taken from MTA security cameras. Police believe some kind of dispute between two groups led to the gunfire. They're looking for a suspect and two others who were with him. Detectives are trying to identify the suspect seen wearing the black Under Armour hoodie. Detectives also need your help in identifying the two other individuals that are believed to be at the scene during the shooting. The witness tells 11 News what else she saw. And I noticed transit officer or police officer running across from the mall. He had a gun in his hand. Then at Liberty Heights Avenue. And a young man comes walking down the street and he's holding something on his, black, his back and I realize he's bleeding. She says the young man who survived flagged down a transit bus. The bus driver helped. Then outside the metro station. They brought the young man up uh, on the elevator and I looked in his face. It was just, um, you know, it's really sad. He was, he was gone. Baltimore City Police tell us this is the ninth juvenile homicide this year. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.